This is Lee Habib, and we're back with our American stories. And now it's time for This Day in History. He was born into a family of Michigan farmers in 1863, but he didn't care for the farming life. As a mechanically inclined young man, he instead chose to build and drive race cars. It wasn't until he was 40 years old that he created a car company of his own. His name, Henry Ford, the founder of the Ford Motor Company of Detroit. At that time, the car industry he entered sold cars mostly to wealthy Americans. When he introduced the Model T in 1908, Henry Ford proclaimed that his company would one day build a motor car, in his words, for the great multitudes. The Model T got him part of the way there. It was a sturdy car, and Ford cut out extravagances and options. Black, for instance, was the only color. But his Model T, though substantially cheaper, was still out of reach of most Americans with its big price tag of $850. Ford and his team of engineers knew that to lower the price of the Model T, to make that car that ordinary Americans could call their own, they had to come up with a better way to build a mousetrap. Like so many great inventions, the Ford team didn't invent the first moving assembly line. It turns out that the immediate inspiration had been used in Chicago and Cincinnati in a very different business. One that involved not machines, but cows and pigs. It was from the meat packing business, where those animals were killed, dressed and packed, that the Ford team learned the lessons that would revolutionize the automobile business and change the world. It turns out that the meatpacking process was governed by an insight that the Ford team had not seen before. Rather than have the workers move around the factory making the meat, the meat moved to the workers, using overhead trolleys to make the process much more efficient. Ford's team went to work to mimic that process, and on this day in history, opened the very first moving assembly line for automobiles in Highland Park, Michigan. The plant simplified the assembly of the Model T's 3,000 parts by breaking it into 84 distinct steps performed by groups of workers as a motor and a rope pulled the vehicle chassis down the line. The innovation cut the man hours required to complete one Model T from 12 and a half hours to six. Within a year, further improvements reduced the time required to 93 minutes. By 1916, the price of the Model T had fallen to $360, and sales were more than triple their 1912 level. Eventually, the company produced one Model T every 24 seconds, and the price? It fell below $300. More than 15 million Model Ts were built before it was discontinued in 1927, accounting for nearly half of all automobiles sold in the world to date. The affordable Model T changed the landscape of America, giving ordinary Americans the ability to move from place to place and hastening a mass migration from rural to city life. The moving assembly line spurred a new industrial revolution in factories around the world. Factories making more affordable everything from phonographs to vacuum cleaners to refrigerators. On this day in history, in 1913, the world's first moving assembly line for automobiles was opened by the Ford Motor Company. Music